Hello YouTube and welcome to another uh, Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to add a ZFS storage to Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, ZFS is actually one of the best uh, file systems in Linux world, okay? And uh, many, many Linux distributions support it, okay? So here we are using Proxmox, and Proxmox is based on Debian Linux, so it also supports ZFS, okay? So actually, ZFS was uh, developed by Sun Microsystem a long time ago, and it's known for its uh, high performance and also reliability. It has a lot of, lot of options or advantages like for example caching, compression, data protection. It has also a self-healing mechanism and it offers also different levels of red actually okay so we'll see that in detail in this video okay so for our demonstration here i will be using two disks so it's preferable to have a disk from the same vendor same model and same capacity but here as you can see i'm using two disks that has almost the same capacity 500 uh, gigabytes but uh, not from the same vendor okay so we'll try to create a ZFS actually pool, okay? So the first step that you have to do, as you can see here, you go to your Proxmox node and you go to the disk tab here. So we'll be using these two disks here, SDC and SDD, okay? As you can see here, okay? So the first step that you have to make is to wipe the disks in order to have the same partition tables and also the same uh, system. Or file system actually so all you have to do is to click on the desk and click this button here wipe desk so I will use it for the first disk so here you see the capacity it has almost uh, 465.76 gigabytes okay here we go it's wiping SDC let's do it for SDD okay wipe yes and it's quick okay so after that our disk are ready to be actually uh, create for creating what we call zfs pool so we go here to zfs we click on it and there is a button here create zfs so here we'll be creating zfs pool so i will click on this button here and i will give a name to our zfs pool so you can give it whatever name you want but in most of the tutorial they call it tank okay so i will use also tank and here we have to check this uh, box in order to add it as a storage and of course here our two disks will appear here in the list of devices so i will choose the two desks here we go then as i told you one of the advantages of using zfs is that it offers red level so here we have different red levels so if you have only one desk you can choose the single desk level but you can choose the other one and some actually uh, will actually uh, need more disk like for example red 10 if i try to create red 10 it will show me that it needs at least three disks or actually here as you can see four disks but me as i have only two i will choose mirroring so mirroring means that the data will be written simultaneously on the two disks okay and for the compression you can choose uh, whatever compression that you want or you can just turn it off so let's use for example the most famous one lz4 okay and for the r shift i will keep the default here okay so now i have uh, chosen all the options so let's try to create actually the desks so i will hit create 
as you can see here the task failed I have here a message an error message okay so this message is actually due to I don't use actually uh, the same uh, uh, disk from the same vendor they don't have the same uh, model okay and also as uh, they are not uh, from the same vendor even it shows me they have both 500 uh, gigabytes as a size maybe some one of them has a little bit uh, more or less capacity but we can actually override this message so I will show you how you can tackle this message here so all you have to do is to copy this command here has been uh, you copy what is between the quotes okay so I'll right click and copy and I will go to the shell of our node here so I will go here to the shell and I will paste this command okay but I will add another options minus F so F is for to force actually the creation of the Z pool okay so I'll make sure that I have this command here so all I have added is this option here minus F for forcing creation of our Z pool and I will hit enter here we go here it has shown me that uh, actually I already have this uh, thank pool so let's create another one because when the command failed it actually create a tank so we can just create another one like for example uh, tank 01 here we go okay so I have now no error which means that I have created my zip pool so I can verify that but by the command uh, ZFS list here we go so we here you can see that I have created a zip pool which has as a name tank01 and it has the capacity of almost 450 gigabytes okay I can also use another command zip pool list or actually status that will give me more info so here you can see the same information the state is online and also the two disks that actually are chosen to create our mirror SDC and SDT and also here for the errors no known data error which means that they don't have any errors in our uh, actually uh, ZFS storage so if I return back here to ZFS you can see that our ZFS has been created so I have here the name and the health is online I can just click on it and also click on this detail button to see what we get so you can ch actually check this uh, window to see if you have any errors or something happened to your ZFS storage okay and also as we have checked the mark or the checkbox for adding storage this storage actually has been added to our proxmox okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to create a zfs storage uh, to proxmox as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye